The Confederation of Tunisian Businesses, Connect, has expressed concern over the government's project to impose additional taxes in the draft finance bill for the financial year 2018. The Prime Minister's Cabinet will present its 2018 budget to Parliament in less than two weeks. Additional taxes will have a negative impact on the competitiveness of companies, their ability to promote investment and their prospects for expansion, which will block the creation of new jobs. Experts stress that the tax burden in Tunisia is one of the heaviest in the world, and a lack of fiscal stability will have a negative impact on domestic and foreign investment. They want the authorities to look for alternative ways to finance the state budget. Over 450,000 private companies out of the 600,000 in Tunisia pay very little tax. They follow the flat rate system while they are making benefits. Integrating those businesses into the real system will guarantee new tax revenues estimated at 20 million dinars per year. The Tunisian Parliament's Finance Commission will discuss the 2018 budget project. MPs now assert that the economic situation is alarming. 70% of the 2018 budget will be dedicated to paying salaries. The situation is critical and Tunisians must contribute. The parliament listens to the people but also to the government. The new taxes will not be a burden, rather a solution. In the last five years, Tunisia's average growth rate was 1.5%. The government said it will reach 3% in 2018. Economists have urged the authorities to fight the parallel market, which represents 50% of the economic activity in the North African state. In the past six years, the salaries of over 5 million Tunisians in the private and public sectors have increased. In the meantime, new taxes have been imposed and the purchasing power has dramatically decreased. Experts assert that Tunisians will make more sacrifices and pay a heavy price to boost their country's economy. Adin Shabashi, CGTN, Tunis.